everybody, my name is Bloomer Brown, and welcome to episode one of a little Kerbal Space Program Let's Play. Um, this is 1.0.5. I have been very excited to get into it. Um, I'm just going to start a new game. Um, I'm going to call it YouTube. Uh, we're going to select a nice flag. I've been through all this before. This is actually not the first... Um, attempt at recording this. Um, we're going to go moderate. We're not going to allow reverting flights. Um, let's see who we spawn. No. Uh, no entry purchase. With the, that's going to really slow us down. Um, if you want to, you know, I mean, I'm not really going to change anything else here. Um, okay, thanks. I've got a gene. Um, wow, the audio is a bit loud in my ears. I'm just going to turn on my game volume. Um, some of this. Okay, so we've got um, Kerbal Construction Time. Uh, I'm going to pop some of that in there. And I'm going to pop some more into R&D. Uh, I'm going to put another bit into the VAP. Why not? Okay, close. I'm going to leave Tack on Thingamajig. Default settings. And uh, we're going to close out of you. And we're going to probably talk about some of the mods that we've installed. Um, just going to go in and grab some contracts. As I say, I'm probably rushing through this. I have done it. I've recorded this twice already. Um, problems with the audio. Uh, picking up the microphone. Hopefully I'll be a bit able to edit this into some kind of a... What contract did I just accept there? Oh, no. Scientific. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's been a mix, mixed... Mixed... Um, sort of thing. Trying to get this up and running. Um, yeah. So, ah, uh, Verna Van Kerman. So, for our first launch, we're going to be doing something special. I have got the Car Balloon mod installed, and I'm going to build a balloon. No. Can I? No, I can't build a balloon. I also have Remote Tech installed, and I have no antenna at the moment. So our first mission is probably going to be a little bit of a science grab. Um, yeah. Yeah, because I have to unlo unlock the next tier to get some... Um, yeah. I'll probably see you out on the launch pad with this thing. Ah, yes, and the sounds of chatter tell us that we have made it to the launch pad. Uh, we're going to get all of the science. Just science spam. Um, grab this, grab this. Apologies if I'm being a little bit quiet. Um, not used to talking to myself, and clicking and doing interacting like this all in one go so we're going to get a crew port and we're going to get Bob out Bob, Bill, Bob Bob and actually we're going to let him uh, we're going to let Bob sniff the air because he doesn't really need a helmet out here so uh, as you might have seen we have Kerbal inventory system, Kerbal attachment system, uh, remote tech, as I say, um, Kerb camera thing. Um, let's get that EVA. Uh, we're gonna take all the data out of here. I'm gonna store the experiments. We're gonna drop down. Um, as well as the Kerb balloon thing, we also have the sounding rockets. Uh, we're gonna get a quick EVA. Yes, all the science. Good man, Bob. You've been sitting in that pod for about four hours to to do to just. <laughs> it's quite funny, really, when you think about it. Um, he's been in that pod for some time, and he has conducted his duties. And we're gonna recover the vessel, get some science, and get our node unlocked, and we can get some antennas. Um. So yeah, we've got the sounding rockets we're coming from. Um. 
uh, as well as that we've got the Taris here space technology mod and uh, it's a lot of extra experiments I always liked it just because of the um, the uh, telescopes uh, so let's see I don't think these actually run out uh, active one of the uh, launch reverse vessel yeah that didn't count as a launch yeah we're gonna we're gonna take escape the atmosphere for now because we're gonna launch a vessel um in here and we're going to unlock this because it's going to give us our antenna and uh, that's going to take about 10 days okay um so yeah we've got the tarsier space technology thing. i'm just checking them yeah it's going to be a while before we'll be able to upgrade any of these well not that we need to upgrade them straight away anyway um yeah so i'm going to jump in here and start creating our little balloon um comes with the balloon mod um it is possible for a weather balloon to uh, if you don't weigh it down enough for it to be shoot off and um well it th i've seen them breaking the sound barrier um <laughs> some achievement for a balloon um but i still like it i don't know i kind of wanted to include it and you know once you kind of make sure you put a bit of weight on it you know it kind of rises up in a somewhat realistic fashion and uh, let's get yeah let's get all the science on this uh, i'm just going to take these in order so that i do not uh forget any of them i don't think they're i think they just add mass to the unit i don't think they're actually that they have physics maybe they do um but i don't i don't think that they do and it wouldn't really matter for a balloon anyway i mean it's just going to pull itself up no more than a parachute um yep and we get some mystery goo um, we put two. Yeah, we put two. Grab all the signs while we can. I'm just gonna put an engineer on it. Um, that, oh, that make it too expensive. Um, what is it? Yeah, a little bit over one. Um, see how? Does I need really need to set up my? No, we we'll leave that for now. Um, I'm going to stick some batteries on it. Just because Fusebox is telling me I have five minutes. I'm going to stick four batteries to hell with it. Live a little. Um, I'm going to put a parachute because we're going to probably recover this balloon. Just given that it's early in the game and we're, you know, a little bit light on phones. And this is costing us what three grand, three and a half grand. So it'd be nice to kind of get it back, uh, just for some stability. I'm gonna pop a lot. Whoa, too many. I'm going to pop a launch stick on it. Uh, that comes with the um, with the sounding rockets mod. Uh, I think I'm going to try and not, you know, launch any serious manned missions. You know, somewhat realistic about our progression through it like I mean I know there's mods that handle that I don't know if any of them have been updated lately but you know kind of gonna get a couple of sounding rockets up there maybe if you can oh a camera uh hold cam do looks we're, we're just gonna stick a very basic um what way to put it I wonder straight up straight down I think yeah I just want to try that out because it'll get us a nice little image hopefully um, maybe we should move it move it down below the parachute a little yeah that's nice uh, so we do need to unlock the antenna uh, I'm just gonna say this is weather balloon one weather balloon one basic science balloon Okay, basic science balloon, yeah, done. So, I'm just going to save that. I'm not going to build it yet because I want to get an antenna on it. Um, then we're going to get back into the VAB, stick our antenna on, get out to the launch pad, and start collecting some science and completing a couple of contracts. And the main goal at the moment, I think, is working towards getting the mission control upgraded um, and trying not to do it, and trying to do it without manned launches you know we'll probably do a bit of wandering around i might do a bit of wandering around on the ground off camera 
gain some extra science and stuff. Um, it's going to restrict us mission-wise because obviously I'm not doing this with a mod, so I'm, you know, kind of managing it myself to some degree, and I'm going to be a bit selective about some of the missions. Um, so yeah, it might slow things down a little bit, and I might end up doing a bit of work off camera just to kind of make it a bit interesting. Um, we're getting close. We're getting close to unlocking our node. Actually, while we're doing that, um, have I unlocked the node? I don't think I uh, did. I go in and unlock the node. What am I warping to? <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm warping to. Um, engineering. Oh yeah, 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 that's okay, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd made a mess. Um, actually, while I'm in here, seventeen science, fifteen science survivability. This is giving us. We would be able to make a nice balloon, but I kind of do want to get into the sounding rockets as well. And this would kind of give us bigger sounding rockets and maybe help us to get out of the atmosphere. Uh, what's this? The sounding rocket motor. Slightly bigger one. Yeah, I think I'm going to research that. It's also going to give us some engines. Mm. Yeah. Release tank separation. Oh, excellent. Yeah, we're, we're going to... I'm going to... A little bit of that. It's got to be another 10 days before we unlock it. We still got 12 signs left. Um, e15. Going on here, 18. So, yeah, we're going to go up and get our stuff done. 20. Yeah. So, we're going to. Uh, oh, yeah, we have to go back to the VAB, get our antenna on. And as we join our first little. Our first little speed, my well, our first attempt at a at a, um, a flying craft of some sort. It's an aircraft, I suppose. Um, we managed to, or the scientists in the R and D center have managed to unlock, or rather, complete their research on the um, the basic rocketry node. So by the time we get back, we should have some more nice toys, shiny new toys to play with, and. As we get up a little, I'm just going to take a mystery goo because we're technically flying now. And yes, all flying at carbon, excellent. And I really do like this. Um, I'm actually going to try and grab a, a screenshot um, for my for my thumbnail or whatever. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, so you, well, you probably know what the thumbnail is going to be already. Um, so yeah, we're heading up. Um, the effect I do like about these balloons, you probably notice it's actually very, very, very slowly expanding as it goes up, just like a real weather balloon. And I seem to have weighed it down enough. It, I mean, oh, yeah, I mean, it's doing going 100 meter, uh, meters a second. Um, well, yeah. Ah, it's a technicality. I like the mod. I think it's really cool. Um... And I'm going to keep this data. I'm going to keep this data. And this is what I'm saying about the... Um, the... Um, the remote tech. Um, I don't seem to have any connection. Not applicable. Maybe... Maybe this thing is some wild autonomous or something. Um, I don't know. That's what I'm going to pretend anyway. That this is an autonomous unit. And um, it's taking us up. Uh, wow, it's getting huge. <laughs> it's got pop. Yeah, we'll probably make about 10k uh, before this thing does explode. And Ooh, something exploded. Probably my launch stick. In true Kerbal fashion, they have to find launch sticks using high explosives. It's not really a launch stick, it's a stick of dynamite. Um, that's the only thing I can think of that must have exploded. Um... Okay, carbon launch sticks. I really like the balloon. I love it. I mean, it's swelling up and everything. It's like we are going probably a little bit fast, maybe. Um, 
but you know I mean it's immersive enough for me um, I'm not super interested in the realism um, which is why I'm not playing with the real solar system or anything like that um, I suppose the other mods what have I said um, so obviously Kerbal Attachment System, Kerbal Inventory System I'm probably repeating myself uh, Remote Tech um, Chatter uh, Navy Fish's Docking Port thing Building Stage Recovery which is going to really help us with um, you know when we start building multi-stage rockets I like it because it's it's a convenient way to do the thing um, I have to get back in and figure out how to use it um, not that there's any real trickery to it and you see my antenna's gone but I can still influence the craft um, I'm gonna see oh we've gotten up beyond 12 kilometers I would like to see it pop Wow! <laughs> you can see the expansion of it it's, it's really cool screenshot um, sorry everybody get your screenshots out and yeah I have a bound to um, bound to um, the same key as the temperature I think I don't think they're bugged anymore See, that that's how long it has been <laughs> since I've played Carwell. Um so yeah oh there we go and we are still climbing we're gonna take the goo uh, yeah it's just flying well, we're gonna get that little bit anyway that we didn't get from the other one and we're going to hit our shoot yeah so I think that's as I said I've kind of done this mission already so I'm I know what to expect I think I've armed the shoot yeah, armed. So it's going to deploy by itself as we go down. And oh yes, I've got the camera. Um, uh, my parachute has deployed, or it's like semi-deployed. Um, I actually forgot my camera. I'm gonna have a peek down camera lens. Oh, that is beast. Oh, look at that. That is that is awesome. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one launching. Um, yeah, could I? Yeah, I probably should have taken a screenshot with this. Ah, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, yeah. So yeah, I put the camera on for a reason and I used it. Okay. Hit upon a bit of a problem. Um, uh, I, I, we're still falling. Um. Maybe when we hit the ground, I, I try to activate the camera. Um, uh, and now I cannot get out of it. That's probably a hotkey. Um, shouldn't I spam the keys? Probably not. Um, yeah, we're, we're still descending, so probably when we get to the ground, we'll be able to recover the vessel. Um, the image doesn't seem to be changing. Maybe you took a photograph. Um, launch pad reconditioning. Oh, okay, so that our launch pad is ready to go again. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, I I hope when we get to the if not, I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, yeah. Well, we've landed. Um, I wonder can I click on that camera and and and, and dis disable it? No. That's not a thing you want to let me do, is it? Um, let's see if um no. Well, um, that's very strange. <laughs> um, okay, we're just going to recover the vessel, and hopefully it'll fix all our issues. Um, with the amount of mods, I was kind of expecting some kind of um. So yeah, let's yeah, everything seems to be okay again, and we've got twenty-seven signs for that. Excellent. And we should probably go in and spend it straight away. Uh, what have we got here? More record keeping. We have a okay. Uh, we're going to immediately pump this 
We're going to immediately pump this back into um something. I'm betting half that all this background noise that I'm picking up is going straight into my microphone. And <laughs> yeah, do we want this? Or do we want to go for stability? We could launch some kind of an automated rocket using this. We've got fifty. Um I think just because of the parachutes and the heat shields well it's more the parachutes and the service bay that I'm interested in um, and the landing legs would help bring some balloons down because I want to continue with the balloons for a little while that'll be a month um, nor do I want to go down this route and try and get some more science what have we got there, nav cam more cameras radiator panel Radiator panel comes. Mm. We're not going to be going that high yet. Uh, rechargeable battery thermometer. That's going to give us more science. This is going to let us unlock and build some bigger unmanned rockets. Which I don't think I'm ready for yet. Uh, since we haven't even gotten a, a sounding rocket off the ground yet. We've only been messing around with balloons. Or should I wait? While I deliberate this, I'm probably going to cut and cut back when I've made my decision. Um, oh, okay, I've just actually realised that it doesn't matter because these all require 45 science anyway. Um, uh, uh, um, I was trying to edit one of these in Omni Range 500. Yeah, it's exactly the same, isn't it? Yeah, I was trying to edit one of these in so that I would have an antenna for my thing, and I must have forgotten to change the the um, uh, the mode in the in the config file. Um, that's actually something I might be doing at some point is building my own custom part and just showing how I do that. Probably using something like SketchUp and Unity. Um, I do have a background in CAD and that kind of thing and yeah it might be something that I might be interested in doing and maybe bring it into the series um, like some kind of um, a base module or something like that um, we'll see or maybe a couple of modules I'll see um, it's just it's a thing that I might be interested in doing and we'll see how it goes along um, okay let's let's get out of here and Head back in and see what kind of contracts we have and what we can pick up. Mm. I'm going to wait a couple of days and see what crops up. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and build a sounding rocket. Just because I want to. Um, and I'll probably go in, do that, and see you guys out in the launch pad because I don't want this episode to run for hours and hours. And... If anything interesting happens, yeah, I'll be sure to let you know. I have an antenna, which is saying that I have no connection, which is probably why I can't do anything. And I'm wondering why. Because I have put an antenna in here. Hold on now, that's probably actually... I'm just going to hit space. I have no connection. Is it not seeing the antenna? Uh, oh, wait. Hmm. Yes. Um. <laughs> it's, it seems the, uh, the boffins in, um, the VAB have forgotten to put batteries into this thing. Um. I, I, I think somebody needs to be reprimanded for this. Uh, so I'm going to have to go ahead and recover this. I'll keep on my phone spy. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try again. And we're back. Um, we sent Bob down to the local petrol station to pick up some AA batteries. And because I'm already draining power and I've got about six minutes to get through this launch, I am just going to hit the space bar. Oh yes, there we go. We're getting a little bit of rotation. Nice. 
we go. So, oh, this fuel is gonna burn up pretty quick, and we're gonna actually move. Ooh. We are, we're pretty straight, and we've probably picked up a fair bit of speed, and this is about to burn out. I hope it jettisons. Yes. Fire the next stage, and we're still going pretty straight. And yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Can we control? No. Yeah, the big sounding rod has no operation. SAS modules are parts of all. Oh, dear. Oh dear. No, I, I don't have any. I don't have any control of this thing. Um. Okay. Um. We are. Yeah, we're just going to fire the shoot. Um, deploy shoot. At least we're going <laughs> to... Uh, there we go. We're going to try and get some slides out of this. <laughs> and we've got 17 minutes of battery power left. Um, and you can see the little slides. Yeah, we need to... Um, and there's no signs out of this. Um, we'll have a peek around. I don't think we're going to get any signs out of this. Um... Yeah, I don't know what the avionics actually... I don't think the avionics actually controls it. It just kind of provides um, some feedback information or something. Um, yeah, we're not even getting signs. We didn't get up high enough. Um, okay. So, let's, let's make our way back to the ground. And this seems like the perfect place to end the episode. If you have made it this far, I can only apologize for the audio. I've spent some time in editing trying to make things sound a little better. Um, this is the best I could do. Uh, thank you for tuning in. You have been watching Bloomer Brown on YouTube, and I will see you next time.